I'm right back with another video. It's 4 16 p.m. March 23rd. And it looks like it's done raining, hopefully. But anyway, so I decided to come back here and make a video because I'm bored, you know, and I feel like talking. And there's really no one to talk to, so I decided to make a video. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I wanted to follow up on today's video because, you know, when I think of the people who got involved in it and who like constantly focus on this change thing, change thing, change thing. Like, you know, I'm doing something wrong and I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, you know, I, I have a, I consider myself to live a very low key life. Like, you know, I rarely come out of my house. There's very, really, very little reason for me to come out of my house. Even when I was working, there was very little reason for me to come out of my house to do anything other than run errands and whatever. I, I just, you know, I personally think that people who have created this or stating this or making this stuff up just to have something to argue about. And I'm referring to my ex-family or whatever. <clears throat> um, you know, I think when you compare my life to perhaps maybe I have a sister, an ex-sister, <laughs> um, my second to the oldest sibling, okay? <clears throat> like she's very active, you know, she's got a lot of children she throws birthday parties she has parties in general she's you know more open or whatever I don't have that you know I only have one child he's grown or whatever so I don't have those things you know so I don't really do a whole lot of activities now my my goal in my life was to have more activities to fill my schedule like whether that be taking certain lessons um, you know maybe art classes maybe um, whatever certain things that I wanted to do in my life that got literally bulldozed over when I got put into this program. So when I think of people who, you know, constantly focus on me and pick me apart, you know, and I seriously, I go through like, why, what am I doing? What is it that I do that people are so angry about? Or why are they so constantly like trying to bully me because I mean I understand like for example I'm wearing overalls right now okay and yeah I wear overalls you know because they're comfortable right but there's certain places where they're not acceptable okay and I think some people think well you know you're just living in the past or whatever first of all I would like to say that um you know and I really shouldn't have to explain myself and I really on the outside like if I was out in public I would never be having this conversation, but it's my station, my channel, whatever. So when other TIs are listening to it, they, this might be affecting them as well. You get people with their opinions and they, they have certain views on how people are supposed to live and they can't be happy with living their, their life. So they want to tell you how to live yours. Okay. I don't go around. I don't know the people in my neighborhood. Not really. Okay. But I, if I wanted to get to know them, or if they made an effort to get to know me, I wouldn't go into their house and start picking them apart, telling them what they should wear, what they should think, how they should, the music they should be listening to, what they should be eating, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't even think of doing something like that. Why? Because I understand that everyone is different, right? Um, and so I feel as though anybody who has a problem with me is their problem. You know, because like I said, you know, I'm not somebody who tries to cram my beliefs down other people's throats. And the people who are constantly badgering me to change my life are trying to change my life into a direction to be closer to these people that I don't like. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. The thing is, I don't like the people who are throwing out their negative opinions of me, who are bullying me. So, I mean, it, it really, I don't even understand it. It's, it's pointless, you know? And so the more I start thinking about this, I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, fight a battle that I'm never going to win. You know what I mean? Because, you know, even though I personally think deep down in their mind, in their heart or whatever, they know that I'm right. They know that I'm right. No one in their right mind should be able to, or should even try to attempt to do the things that these people have done. They do not have any right to do so. Okay. <clears throat> also, so but they want, it's their arrogance or their pride probably that prevents them from saying, oh, I was wrong. Okay. Whatever the case is, you know, I'm, I've made it very clear. These people who did this to me, it's like, do you honestly think I would forgive all the years that you'd abused me? And then also, do you think I would forgive, um, 
the you know the constant the the mobbing me out of my jobs you know playing this stupid bullshit game trying to force me into marriage all this shit you know all of it you know um but i will say for some target angel because you know people pick on targeted individuals for whatever it is that they have the right to do in their own home okay some people like me you know i think they say oh you know she lives in the past i'm very well aware of the time period that i'm living in right now i am living in 2020 okay and i think a lot of people i'm not the only person who feels this way wishes for simpler times okay but i also know that and i know this i mean you don't have to sit here and try to bully me to try to, to make me understand this i understand i cannot go back in time okay i can't go back in time especially what i know now like like i know now okay that what i what i was living when i was younger was an illusion yes that's my bag that i made with the little people on it okay <laughs> but anyway i know when i was younger um I was kind of living in a Truman Show, meaning that my family was always bullying me. They were always involved with the people that I was involved with. They were always, you know, stating or, or creating friction and causing division with other people. <clears throat> so I understand that. Okay. So there is nothing that I'm sentimental to. I'm sentimental towards the people that I used to know. Because I personally think if they sided with these people and took sides with these people... And took active measures to bully me with the my ex-family. Why would I want to go back to the people that I used to know or have some sort of relationship or strike up some sort of relationship with them? You know, I don't think that I'm doing anything wrong. I don't believe I'm doing anything wrong. Okay, I know there are women who are older than me who get dressed up in better clothes than me. And, you know, the clothes that I wear out in, out in the public are age appropriate, meaning they're not, there's no age limit on it, okay? You can wear my clothes if you're 60, you can wear so the clothes that I wear when you're 70, you can wear them when you're 30, 20, and there's nothing controversial about uh, denim jeans. There's nothing controversial about um, a, uh, a shirt with a sweater on it because that's basically what I've been wearing lately okay if anybody sees me around town you'll notice that I'm just usually wearing just jeans and then maybe a shirt with a sweater over it whether it's that black one or the blue one or whatever and then sometimes I wear something different okay but that's my choice okay but I obviously know that there's a difference between whatever <clears throat> you know certain places you don't wear certain things makes sense right um, and then, you know, some people will sit here and pick on the fact that, you know, like, um, I know there's women out there who wear gobs and gobs and gobs upon gobs of makeup. Okay. I see this all the time. I see, I go into stores, people are wearing like Egyptian style eyeliner. They've got like, you know, red lipstick on and, you know, believe me, I like lipstick too, but you know, I really don't wear it as much, but I'm just saying is so, and these mostly, a lot of these women are older than me. They're older than me, okay? But Maria does something and then all of a sudden it's an issue, okay? I know that I can't go back in the past. That doesn't mean that I can't have hobbies that relate to certain things, you know? I don't like today's music. I don't like it. I really don't. I, I find nothing. I can't sit here and pretend to like it or listen to it just because everyone's listening to it. I don't like it. The minute it comes on, I'm just like, I tune out. And it's not because I want to, because believe me, I want to hear new music. I do. I want to hear new music. It's always nice to hear something else, okay? It is always nice to expand your horizons, to hear something else, to be able to vibrate at a different frequency. Because when you listen to the same music over and over and over and over again, it becomes kind of humdrum. Even certain things that I love, I love, okay? There are some, some artists that I love, 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 okay? But... Being camped in the house, especially if you have Pandora, okay? You got Pandora playing on the background, whatever. You're going to hear the same songs over and over again. So, you know, it's always nice to hear new music. And there are some new artists, but they usually are more of the alternative artists that tend to have something good. But the mainstream stuff I don't like, okay? And same thing with the movies. The movies nowadays, a lot of them are either plotless or they're reboots, which I think is ridiculous. Um, whatever, you know, just stuff that I, I can't help that. 
But, you know, I've seen blogs upon blogs and people making comments about movies or TV shows that are being rehashed and people are saying, why do you need this? I like the old one. It was fine the way that it was. There's a lot of people who like old things. Okay, I'm not the only one. So what they want you to do is they want you to be just like them. To have a, so if you're like them, then maybe you can have a relationship with them. I don't want to have a relationship with you. That's just it. I don't want to have a relationship. I wouldn't want to have a relationship with anybody who is that backwards in their thinking to think that you're going to use some form of mind control, in the, especially when it comes to bullying, to try to change my mind. You know, these, this is my life. This is what I live. This is what I live for. These are the things that make me peaceful. Okay, the little arts and craft projects, the little hobbies. That I, this is who I am. This is what I live for. Okay. Now, I, you're probably thinking, why don't you give your, devote your life to people? Very few people are worth your time, okay? And if I do find somebody who I feel a heartfelt connection to, such as the woman that I met and I was communicating with for five years, who's, who's gone now, um, then I did. You know, I really cared for this person. You know what I mean? And I did what I could for her, even though we were at quite a distance apart. But I had, I loved this person as a friend. You know what I mean? And I would have done more for her or sacrificed for her. And it would have been a sacrifice. It would have been a willing gift that I would have done if she needed to or she wanted me to or she asked me to or whatever. Okay, because it would come naturally. Why? Because there was a feeling of love and friendship there. Do you understand? But for people I don't care about, I wouldn't suggest you do that for anybody. Okay? I just wouldn't. So people may think, well, you know, you're going to be awfully lonely if you don't, if you don't make adjustments to your life. Well, then, you know, good. Good. The reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, people will make up shit just to have something against you. Okay. Just like, I don't see any reason. I really don't like, you know, I, I'll get dressed in the morning and usually, like I said, it's the jeans. Okay. It's the jeans, the shirt and the sweater thing. Okay. Which I've been doing for a lot this winter. Okay. I'll go out in town. I'm looking at most people are wearing pretty much the same thing. Okay. Women old 30 up, 30 years old and up. This is what they're wearing. So I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. My clothes are age appropriate. Now, are there certain things in my closet that might be a little dated? Might not be what I mean by dated is it's still something a person my age could wear, but it's not something that's like in the modern age or it's not something that most people would think, oh, I, I like that myself. That's, you know, I still have the right to have it and still have the right to wear it in my own home, in my own home. So what these people want, they want you to be like them so that they can like you. And the answer is no. You know, anybody who did this, all the people who got involved in this, I cannot possibly like you. I can't. I can't. I'm not wrong for saying it. And deep down inside, you know it's true. You know that it's true. You know? No one in their right mind has, I mean, I can't even understand how somebody would do something like this. Like, I personally wish that Jim Culligan had a bigger brain. Okay, I wish he had, like, you know, better knowledge and better grasp of spiritual concepts and the Bible in itself so that he wouldn't have pulled this bullshit trick on, on, on me. You know what I mean? Or he had some sort of sense of ethics, morals, you know, so he would know better to not do something like this. How many other people's lives have you ruined doing this shit? So I'd like, like to know. You know? You know, I'm not... What I'm trying to do in my life, or what I've always tried to do, is gravitate towards people in my personal life, in my personal life, that were on the same vibrational level that I am. And what that means is, like, you got things in common, okay? Now, when you're at work, sometimes you don't have anything in common with people other than the fact that you work there. Other than the fact that I'm a female, she's a female. She's got a kid, I have a kid. And then you, you make light little conversation based on that. Oh, did you have a nice weekend? Yeah, I had a nice weekend. I took so-and-so to so-and-so. I went to go visit some relatives or where. Those are the things that you talk about. It's light talk, okay? I know in this world, you cannot expect everyone to like you. You cannot do it. It's impossible. Like when I was younger, I used to, I was bewildered. I kept thinking, you know, I'm a nice person. 
I'm friendly, you know, whatever. I couldn't understand why people were being such belligerent, belligerent assholes. I do understand now because these people have always been in my life and they were always in my, my surrounding, okay? That's why. You know, but even if, let's just say, take them out of the equation. Let's take my, my weird family out of the equation, right? And say, well, I'm this new girl. Well, I'm not the new girl. I've been living here for 20 years, Bakersfield. In 20 years, in August, it will be 20 years that I've lived in Bakersfield. Okay, 20. All right. So let's take those monsters out of the equation. Let's just say, for example, I came in here or I just recently moved here. Okay. And... I encountered someone and I introduced myself to a nice lady and say, hey, you know, I'm new here. How are you? Blah, blah, blah. And she kind of has this look like she wants to be kind of standoffish. Okay. Maybe she doesn't like black people. Maybe whatever. I don't know. Okay. That has nothing to do with my family. That's just the way it is. That's just normal people reacting to what the, what they're raised with, preconceived ideas, what they're comfortable, they're comfortable, comfortable comfort level, <laughs> comfort level, whatever you want to call it. Okay. She doesn't want to warm up to me. She doesn't like me. She whatever. And that's, you know, that happens sometimes, okay? It happens. You cannot make everyone like you. You can't. Even people who hire you sometimes may not even necessarily like that employee. They may not like what they do, but they like what the job. And hope that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an employer who doesn't want to get involved with people's personal lives. I want to work a job. Now, I have to figure out what I'm going to do, where I'm going to go, what, what, how am I going to take care of myself? How am I going to take care of myself? I know what people think, oh, you know, maybe, and I, the whole Maria's looking for love or what, I'm not, okay? I'm not looking for love. I'm not looking for love. Everything I do in my life is because I believe in a personal lifestyle for me. It has nothing to do with the opposite sex. It doesn't. Okay. I personally believe that I want to be, I want to take care of myself. Okay. I'm not going to allow myself to get involved in a relationship, especially now that I fully understand what marriage is about. And some people will be very twisted and be like my ex-brother-in-law and think that they can rock all over a woman and then think that they can yank their jobs back and all this other stuff. I don't want that nightmare and I don't want that headache. Okay, I do not want somebody abusing me. I'm just trying to get through this world. You know what I mean? So, I'm not living in the past. Okay, the, the, the music of yesterday is always going to be the best in my book. And I'm talking about music going back years. And I'm talking about just about every genre. If you turn on music from like the 1960s all the way up to like a certain part of the 80s, okay? That music was bomb ass, okay? Regardless of the genre, it was all good in my opinion. It was it was just something I, I just, I love it. I love it all, right? I don't like the movies nowadays, okay? I'm sorry that we have so much technology. Now, I know that I'm, I'm using technology right now to make this video. It's helpful, okay? But I can't help it if I don't like it. I'm more of a person who enjoys na na nature. I like nature. You know what I mean? Or things that I, I just wish the world wasn't like this. I really do. I really wish it wasn't. Like, I hate turning on the, the you know, TV or TV or or watching ads or whatever. They're talking, download this app. And I kiss. And I've downloaded apps before. Okay. I've downloaded apps. I use Microsoft. I use, like, you know, sir, I know how to use Messenger. I know how to use the majority of the things that we use to function every day to communicate with okay i understand certain programs at work so that you can get by at work and i understand that thing those things okay i do okay but do i want that to be like my major my things that, that my my life revolves around that i can want to that's not where i'm supposed to be you know what i mean so what you guys want is another person so i like i said find that person i can't change that I'm not looking for inclusion socially. I'm not. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for people who are of like mind. Like you want to find your tribe. You know what I mean? You want to find the people that you connect with. You're not going to connect with everybody. It's just not, it's just not the way it's going to be. You know, you can be polite to people. You can be, you always should be kind to people. 
You know what I mean? And you should always be willing to be concerned about your fellow man. Yes, that's true. You know what I mean? But uh, who's going to be your bosom buddy? Who's going to be your... That, those are very rare. Those are very rare things. They don't happen very often. You know what I mean? I can bring... A million, I mean, about a hundred girls in here. Women my age, okay? I can bring them all in here. And you can make them, you get them from all different races or whatever. And there may be a, someone I click with. And there may be someone I won't. I mean, there might be and there might not be. I got about maybe. But chances are probably not. Okay? Most people my age don't really socialize that much. They really don't. Okay? Most people are too busy with their own families, whatever. That's what they're doing. I don't have that. You know what I mean? I, I don't have me. I have my son, okay? But he's a grown man. He's got things to do. And I don't expect him to be around mama all the time, you know? I'm trying to live my life. Okay? And I know people say, oh, you know, but, but you, know, you just want to be married. And I am so tired of people getting involved in my personal life. I get tired of going to job interviews and thinking, you know, I'm trying to get a job here. I'm trying to take care of myself, keep a roof over my head without the use of other people to be self-sufficient. Okay. And you got people who want to sit here and play games. I'm not interested in that game. I'm interested in having a job. That's it. And I, I really do resent the fact that you know, this illegal shit happens. You know? Because there's a lot of people out there who work hard. You know, maybe I don't have a bachelor's degree. You know, I don't have a bachelor's degree, so. I know women who have less than I have. They're doing okay. The lady who took over my job when I was over at the manufactured place, homes place or whatever, she went to a training course and she got to have an accounting job. She got my job. But when it comes to Maria, it's always the exception. And I'm tired of it. You know? You act like you gave me everything I had, Jim Culligan. You didn't give me everything I had. My first accounting job, I did that on my own. Now, you may have put your two cents worth in. You may have mobbed me up my job. You may have come in and intruded or whatever. But I remember the steps that I took to get there. Okay, and then you you feel like you have to have your hand in everything. I never asked you to. This is your creation. This whole thing that I'm going through is your creation. I'm not saying I didn't have a hand in it. I'm not saying I didn't do anything wrong. Like, for example, I married somebody that I shouldn't have married. That was my mistake. I can't I cannot blame anybody for that except for me. I take full responsibility for that. Okay. But my jobs. Everything you, this is your fault. It's your fault. How people live their life on the outside. When they are interacting with people professionally or even just casually like, you know, dealing with people like store clerks or your next door neighbor or whatever. This is something I understand. You know what I mean? Like if, if you're wearing a, like sometimes you, I wear funky pants. Like funky pants meaning... They're for your house. They're like pajama pants. They're like, I don't know, whatever. They're just lounge pants, okay? I, I I check myself, okay? Unless, of course, when I was living over there, I was living in another place where I could just walk across the street to Albertsons and pick up a couple items and come right back in. But I understand, like, I there are certain things I cannot leave the house wearing. I understand that. Just like there's certain things, like, you know, there might be a, a shirt with a bunch of holes in it and dirt and grime and stains on it but this this particular shirt is so comfortable for this person maybe somebody gave it to them they might wear it in their home but they're like you know what i gotta go out and i gotta go run some errands i'm gonna change my shirt so they'll change their shirt okay but when they get home they're slipping right back into the other one you know i don't you know i i it's not that i'm trying to be disrespectful i'm not i'm not being disrespectful just that I have the right to live my life. You know, not your way, but my way. I have that right. You know, I would not be happy living my life based on what you think I'm supposed to be. I wouldn't be happy. 
I wouldn't be. I would be downright miserable. And I've been there before. I remember the jobs that I had to work at and then how I felt really pressured all the time and how miserable my life was. I wanted to blow my goddamn brains out. I hated it. I just want to be away from you guys. And that's just the way it is, you know. And it's sad, you know, that employment is so, you know, inundated with this ridiculous garbage about playing matchmaker or, or trying to force marriages together. I mean, seriously. For people, that is a lifestyle I would never. It's like when, when, when people bring me in for that reason, or it takes me a while to figure out what happened, okay? But when they do that, do you know how disgusted I feel? That somebody would even like want to bring that shit up to me. Okay, I understand. Some people think it's okay to screw their moms. Some people do that. They do that. That's what they do. Like I said, you're over the age of 18. You can do those things. Okay, for some people that's completely normal. And they never even heard of the word incest. Never heard of it. But I have. Okay, and I'm not comfortable with it. I don't believe in it. Okay. And for somebody who tries to pressure me, that's just like somebody sitting here trying to rape me or bringing it up or putting it into involving it into employment. And absolutely not. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just letting you understand how I feel about this issue. You know, I got a divorce. I paid money for the divorce. Okay. Money that I wonder should have even come out of my pocket. Is he legally married to his mother? I don't know. Does he have a relationship with her? Yes, he does. Am I comfortable with it? No. Do I think it's okay? It's not for me to say. It's just none of my business. Okay? But I will tell you, it's disgusting to me. I, I, it's not something I want. I don't want anything to do with it. So for this woman and these people to be involved in my, my life in this way, do you know how sick that is? It's sick to me. And I'm not trying to offend people who in this community who think that that's normal. I'm not. I'm just saying is, it doesn't make sense for me to have any connection with these people when I'm divorced. I'm divorced. Legally, scripturally, everywhere, any, any way you think of it, I'm completely, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Now, whether my son has a relationship with my ex-husband or they're still good friends or maybe they just get along for whatever reasons, I don't know. That's between him. That's, hey, my son can be friends with whoever he wants to be friends with. He's an adult. Okay? But I don't want to know anything about it. I don't want to see that person. I don't want to, I don't want to see it. It's time for me. I want to move on with my life. Okay? And I do not want to have to deal with his Joel's family, you know, saying, well, I want her to do this. Or I want her to do, don't ever sit here and try to conform me into being his wife. Because I feel attacked by that. I feel threatened by that. I found like, it, it, to me, it's, it's almost like rape. I'm telling you, I don't like it. Okay? I don't believe in that lifestyle. Okay? I don't believe in the fact that, or, or accept the fact, or approve of the fact that I was living with him. He knew what I was going through mentally. And he just sat there all quiet and creepy like that. I don't believe that men should be able to do that sort of stuff. There's laws on the books for that. Because it's abusive. And he denies, it de he denies women their rights. Okay. And I would never want to be around anybody who would do that. So, me living in the past? No. I know. It's year 2020. Do I wish it was some other time in his history? I, no, I can't really say that for sure. Because I know life in, in, in the past for a lot of people, such as myself, people of color, was even 10 times, well, it was, I wouldn't say that. It's always been bad for us. But I'm just saying is, you know, people, instead of it being covert, it was overt. You know, now everybody's just kind of sleeking in the shadows and then, you know, racism, you know, exists sneak, in a very sneaky manner. But, you know, I will say, though, do I like old objects? Do I like antiques? I don't have very many. I have, like, Pyrex bowls that are kind of like I don't think that's big of a deal but do I like this yes I do well I always like them yes I mean are you going to try to brainwash me so I don't like them it, it's stupid you like what you like 
You know what I mean? And I have a right to live my life the way that I want to. You know? And I, I don't want to get closer to you. It's not, it's no offense. It's just, I don't want to be closer to you. Okay? I, I, I really, it's Neanderthal backwards thinking to think that if we change her, then we can have a better relationship. I will never want to have a relationship with anybody who abused me in that manner. You're a fool if you do. And I would say this for any target to any targeted individual, and I'm sure that they would agree. That's abusive. You know, and it's it's more than just saying, "Oh, I'm sorry." Because I don't think narcissists can change like that. So anyway, wrapping up this video, I'll be back with another one some other time later. Take care. Bye.